keep snacks on you. I think the issue is that Cameron and I are both like habitual snackers. I don't think mm -hmm. either of us often sit down to have huge meals. Well, and then like you wind up being like, <sighs> I always come back to Akewood, which is this webcomic from the early 2000s. It was brilliant at the time. I'm not sure all the jokes have aged terribly well. So, you know, keep that in mind if you go to it. But at one point, one of the characters, because the writer of Akewood was so good at delivering just these multi-layered, long, fluid thoughts that are just eviscerating. One of the characters says, you're going to turn into some, or, no, wait. Why would I want to join Mensa so I could go to try to smooth a broad who keeps raisins in her purse? <laughs> <laughs> wow. And I'm like, that is, oh. <laughs> <laughs> what a oh, character. God. Yeah. <laughs> And just like the raisins in your ear bag thing, right? Like keeping a snack around. Like a healthy snack. Yeah. Right? Just yeah. in case you get hungry. I mean, I feel like you're not supposed to empathize with the characters. No, no, that. they're all I, awful. I think that's perfect, right? I think that's like, I don't know. I feel like more, more characters need to be kind of unlikable. Yeah. Ooh, we've got it oh, up on screen. Joe's found it. <laughs> Excellent. This is going to just be, let's read Akewood with Kevin <laughs> <laughs> Is this even, like, vaguely appropriate? Yeah. Oh! Yeah, you're going to need to check. All I did was search Akewood Raisin, and this came <laughs> up. <laughs> uh, uh, don't ask me stuff, man. Yeah, You just had a baby. Be cool. You went to a Mensa meeting and tried to smooth some broad with a bag of raisins in her purse. <laughs> Ain't you got to talk to the phone to spend to your mom about how the baby... Oh, right. This is actually literally the creator of the comic talking to two of his characters. Oh. Oh, is this the, the wrong comic? No, no, this is. This okay. is. Right, yeah. He's like, hey, man, don't don't knock my eye quizzle. 183 <laughs> is serious times, dog. You belong to Mensa? Oh, hell no, man. I hate... I hate watching unshaved librarians do the limbo under some dude's cane. That's vivid. You went to a Mensa meeting, didn't you? Admit it. Yeah. Wow. Uh... <laughs> wow, I love that. Hey, you're, uh, hey, you gotta go talk on the phone to your mom about how the baby opened his left eye or something. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, don't you have anything trivial to get excited about? Yeah. Uh... What I like about Aquid is all the characters have very clear and specific voices. They are such well-defined personalities, and they all bonk off each other very well. Yeah, it's it's really a great example of, uh, I guess, mid-era web comics. Yeah, the the I would say like the the high point when you know you could actually make very legitimate money on web comics through mm. advertising and merch sales and convention appearances, and then the bottom fell out of the market somehow. Yeah. I don't, I, like, yeah, I don't know what happened. Our, our, <laughs> yeah, I guess there's no way you can really, like, Capitalism 2.0 a webcomic. Yeah, you would have to, ugh, yeah. They're sort of inherently, and there's no, there's no sort of, like, newspapers that, you know, sort of pay people just to, like, put their comics out there and sort of build their brand for them, essentially. Yeah, If yeah. you can be strong enough to do it. Yeah, you have to do you have to do everything yourself, right? Like, M M Lunsford, mm -hmm. who does our poster, uh, makes you know it, it, their living is their web comics. Yeah, that's a hard row to hoe. It is. It is. Like back in the day, you could get like promotion and stuff, mm -hmm. and now and uh, I mean, there's like I don't know what. I don't know enough about the web comics business to weigh in, but you know, being an independent creator is definitely difficult. Definitely, yeah. I say, not everyone has a big collective of weird video nerds to belong to in Victoria. Mm-hmm. 